Hello and welcome to this Power BI video. Uh, I'm continuing my video series and this is the 50th video I'm going to post on YouTube. And in this video, I'm trying to do uh, dynamic segmentation, uh, binning or bucketing, what you know. So for what we have done is I have taken my common data model, which I've used in many of my videos. Uh, so there I have this model where I have uh, my sales table, which is joined with customer, item, geography and date. And I have the city ID in both the tables where it is joined on geography. I have a customer which I joined with customer ID. I have item which is joined on item ID and then date is joined with. Uh, we have a sales date order date. So this one is joined on sales date. So this is our model and in this is perfect star schema model one to many relationship. And in this one, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to create a dynamic bucketing uh, on the customer and try to see how our margins are distributed. So and to understand that first, let's start plotting, you know, our data against customer. So we take, let's say customer name and our customer name and ID are at the same level. So we take it, the customer ID, customer uh, name we have taken. Now I'm going to drag margin out here. Now to, let's look at margin, how this margin is. So this margin, if I sort it descent, this is uh, a, a descent. So this is 60% max and when I sort it uh, ascend, this is 67%, which is uh, the another range. So, and let's go back and sort it on customers. So now this is the range which we have. Now, how do we bucket it? So first thing which comes to our mind is let's create a major. So what we are going to do is we are going to create one major like, like this. So this major is going to be margin type. So uh, what we are going to create is a margin type major. And let me explain you what major we are creating. So we are using switch true and we are seeing anything which is less than 0.2 and we, when we are saying is 67 percent is basically 0.6 here because we have marked it as a percentage column so we are saying anything which is below 0.2 is a very bad margin below zero is bad strictly below we are saying here and below uh, 0.1 is kind of a neutral 0.25 is good and up above then that anything is very good okay so this is what we wanted so we created a major and then we put this major out here now the, the moment we put it as a major, now this major we can actually can tell us the type, but we can't put it into a slicer. We can't filter on this. The only thing we can look at here and then what we can do is, so we export this data and we call, let's say, bucket. I have bucket data, so let me call it bucket data one. So I have downloaded this data now and let me open this data, okay? So now it has opened and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this complete data. Though it is CSV, but we have opened it to Excel. So it will allow us, Excel will allow us to create a pivot table. So we will go ahead and create a pivot table on it. So we created a pivot table. We take margin type here and margin uh, percent. We can take a name here. We will not like to take a percentage here. So we just try to count here the count of names. So this uh, 6130 names which we have, they are divided into these four, four categories, bad, good, neutral, very bad. And this is our distribution. Now this is the same thing we wanted to do with Power BI. Now how to do that? Now this major in Power BI is not a, a dimension. And even it is not a column and we will not be able to do it. So should we go and do it at the line level, but our line level data is not at the customer level. So now we, we need this at customer level. So first thing which we have to do is we have to create an independent bucket, bucket table for it. So independent bucket table and what I've done, you might have already seen when I was switching, I already have a, a script with me. So say uh, what I what we typically need for this kind of bucketing or dynamic segmentation or binning is we need a start limit and limit and a bucket. And now there could be a bucket sort column also. Uh, which can be actually what is the sort order of this one but right now we will not get into the sorting aspect of it we know how to do it so we are saying start limit and we that's what we are saying here we have actually said it should say it is below 0.2 but there we don't want to handle these on null values stuff so we say okay this is we have kept a very big start limit and we say end limit is minus 2 0.2 and then from 0.2 to 0 and 0 to 0.1 0.1 to 0.25 and 0.25 to 1000 again we kept a very big limit at the end and then we have to use this as strictly one. So now we are going to create a table. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a table. Uh, so very simple, we go and use enter data. And from enter data, we create this bucket. So this bucket is created and 
so we say load and it, this will now load as a table now because we have used enter data so enter data is as good as importing the data so we got one table and now i'm going to call this table as margin bucket so i will rename it as margin bucket okay so we got one table which is margin bucket table now let's see where it is so this is the table available we can actually go ahead and look at the margin bucket table out here this is the same data which we were looking for so margin bucket table is having the same data now this is our starting point we got the table correctly done now we have to use this margin bucket into a major now what is our major we want to bin this or we want to segment this margin so how should our major be so major should be something like here in this major we actually want to count something we are not finding out average of margin something we say we want to count the customers and when we want to count the customers when it is grouped at the customer level so so what we are going to do, use somewhere at one place we should use values customer id or we if you even if you are using summarize we have to use values or summarize something which we have to use to group the data at the customer level so customer level grouping is required at that place whenever we found margin then we have to bin it or we have to segment it so what we are doing here we are saying we want a count um, of customer ids so this is finally we are getting a count inside the count text we are getting the customer id and we want to filter it and while filtering we are saying values customer customer id means group the data at the customer level and now only customer id is available with us because we have used values on customer id now we can say margin percentage is greater than the minimum bucket start limit so that's an independent bucket that's not uh, you know joined with it so if we are saying the margin percentage is strictly greater than or equal to the lower one but when we are saying less than when the end limit we are saying strictly less than now we are not saying less than equal to here we are saying less than because you remember we are using point to less than here so we are we are saying less than here okay so we have created a major which is margin which is margin major we will also show you what is our margin major is margin percentage is basically nothing but margin by sales so we have margin amount we have sales amount we have created um, majors for those and then we have this uh, margin percentage which is a divided divided major now on top of that we are trying to have this now we will go ahead and now create this margin bucket as one of the column now we go to market bucket click here major belongs to model we can create anyway but let's create it in bucket now we come out and click here remember both the margin majors belongs to sales table uh, sales as well as margin customer id is independent table uh, it's not an independent table it's a table which is joined on customer id and bucket is the independent table we are having here now we take bucket out here so we don't want to take bucket out here it will put to correction product so we are going to create one more visual out here let's make it as a bar which let's make it as a table visual first so we have a bucket out here and then we say bucket this major so we started getting bad good neutral very bad and very good and again 631 so does this number match 1692 bad and 1804 is good that's what we are number we are looking at 1692 and 1804 1467 394 neutral and very bad 1467 and 394 and then 781 is very good okay same numbers we are getting so exactly same now we are counting now but remember anything you want to do now anything you want to bucket it that need to follow the formula now even if i need average of margin or even if i want to put the margin back into to get this one i need to be there so let's say if i want to create one more formula instead of margin if i let's say i want average margin out here what is there in that bucket so i have to go and say average bucket margin and here instead count x i'll take average x and here instead of customer id i have to take margin okay margin percentage the column which we are and then now this average margin can pin into this one so you will see this bad is going to be of one range this good is going to be of one more range which is uh, 0.25 and less this is neutral 0.10 and less this is very bad 0.2 minus 0.2 and less and this is very good which is 0.25 and above 
So in the similar kind of range, it is falling in, okay? And now you will not see this number because we have taken average X, so it is going to be average X of that. So that we can take up a different exercise how to get that thing done correctly. But similarly, if you need to now sales uh, or any other measure which you need to bucket, now this has to be applied because there is no join out here. So when there is no join, every major which you want to fall into this category has to create that join inside the major. So this is how you do dynamic bucketing, binning or dynamic segmentation. So go ahead and try this out. The formula will remain similar kind. You might have actually join on the same numbers and then have bucketing on top of it. Any kind of origin, this is the same way it is going to apply. Thanks for watching this video. Let us know if you have more questions on this. Subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon so you can get the notifications. Thanks for watching. Thank you.